안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. If you're like me and you dream of building the next Instagram, Twitter or Facebook, there are two features your application is for sure going to need. The first one is real-time messaging. Unicorns like Tinder, Uber, Instagram or Twitter, they all have some sort of direct messaging system. And the apps like Slack, Twitch or YouTube rely very heavily in real-time public chat rooms. The second feature is activity feeds, which is something that apps like Instagram or Twitter are literally built upon. If your app allows users to follow each other and you want to show to your users the posts and activities of the people they follow, you need an activity feed. Or if you're building a notification tab where your users can see that somebody liked their photo or somebody mentioned them on a comment, you need a notifications feed. Implementing these two features by yourself, real-time messaging and activity feeds, it's possible, but not so easy. For the chat, you need to code and maintain the real-time servers that should be capable of holding many WebSocket connections open for all the people in the chat room. You also need to code all the logic to handle channels, messages, private channels, reactions, threads, among many other things. And for the feeds, you need to code all the logic for follows, unfollows, likes, mentions, pagination, fan out, so many things. Or you can save your time and you can use Stream instead. Stream is a backend as a service platform that allows you to implement real time chat messaging and activity feeds in record time. And the best of all, it's absolutely free for makers like you and me. Companies like SoundCloud, Strava, Adobe, Masterclass, and Etoro, among many, many others, use a stream for real-time chat messaging and activity feeds. Stream also has SDKs for vanilla JavaScript, React.js, React Native, Flutter, Android, iOS, Unity, and even Unreal Engine. And if that wasn't enough, a stream also has a collection of UI components that we can use to save even more time when implementing chats or activity feeds. If you want to get started right now, click on the link below to sign up for your free Maker account. Or keep watching because to see how easy it is to work with Stream, we are going to implement our own real-time chat using the Stream Chat API and the Stream React Chat components. Now, before we start, I need to warn you, Stream is going to blow your mind. After we sign up for Stream and get a free Maker account, we will create a new app. For this, we have to select the region we want the code and the data to be. Next, we're going to create a new channel type. With a channel type, we can customize the features, the rules, and the permissions that our users will have when using our chat. Stream comes with very useful channel types already made for us. For example, the live stream chat comes pre-configured with some permissions already that allow loading users to write in the chat, but only allows anonymous users to read the chat. Or for example, the messaging chat comes with some pre-configuration that doesn't allow guests to look at the chat, only registered users only. Thanks to channel types, we can also specify what are the events that our users are going to be subscribed to. When creating a new channel type, all we have to do is write the name and select the events that we are interested on. An example of an event is a typing event. We should leave this on if we want our users to know when someone is typing a message, like in Slack or in Messenger, for example. We're going to leave all of them on for now. Then we're going to write down the permission rules for our chat. First, we will allow the admin, which is us, to do whatever we want. And then we're going to allow guest users to be able to create channels, write messages, react to messages, upload files, and send links. Now we are done with the configuration, we can now go to our React application. First, we have to install the stream chat npm package. Then we're going to grab our API key from the settings page of our application and use it to connect from our code. Then when our application starts, we're going to connect to stream using a guest user with a random ID. After that, we will now create or connect to a channel with the channel type that we created before. We will give it a name and we will save this channel in the state. Now that we are connected, we will install the UI React components that are provided for us by Stream for free. All we have to do is npm install a Stream Chat React and then all we have left to do is to render the components. And this is the mind-blowing part. Stream gives us components like chat, 
channel and window that will render a chat window on the channel that we are connected to. If we want to show a header on the channel to display the name of the channel and to display a count of how many people are currently online, all we have to do is render the channel header component. As you can see, we can see the result immediately in our screen. Now, if we want to show a list of messages in our channel, all we have to do is render the message list component. Now, because we don't have any messages yet, we have to allow our users to write the messages. Instead of creating an input manually and doing all the code by ourselves, all we have to do is render the message input component. And boom, that's it. As you can see, that gives us an input that works out of the box. We can now send messages and even upload files. Now, when other users connect to our chat, they will see the list of previous messages. They will know when other users are typing and they will even be able to react to messages with emojis. And this is all because we render the right components in the right places. And if that wasn't enough, if we wanted our users to be able to open threads in messages the way Slack does, for example, all we have to do is render the thread component. Just by doing that, the users can now talk in threads. How easy was that? It's crazy. We just made our own Slack clone with writing almost no JavaScript at all and zero lines of CSS. The stream chat react components are super customizable as well. Here you can see all the components you can use if you want to modify the default look of the message UI. They are also full of props that you can change and you can even add class names if you want to change the CSS directly. And of course, you don't always have to use the stream chat react components. You can use your own components with the chat API. Thankfully, the stream API is very intuitive. For example, if you wanted to send a message to the channel using code and not the React stream components, then you can just do channel that send message. That's very easy to remember. Or if you wanted to listen for new messages in your channel, all you have to do is channel on new message. Or for example, if you wanted to add a reaction to a message using your custom emojis, all you have to do is run channel send reaction and the name of your reaction. Now let's take a look at activity streams and see how we would go about building a feed Instagram style. For activity streams, we need a server. From the server is from where you will add the notifications to the inbox of the users or activities to their feeds. On the server side, first we get a user token. We do this to control who can read the feed and notifications in our front. End. After we have our token, then we get a feed for our user. Then, in the server side, when an event happens, we will add an activity to the feed of our user. We can also make our user follow someone else. Now, if, for example, we were building a React native application, all we would have to do is use the Expo Activity Feed package that Stream provides for free. This package has components that will allow us to render our activity feeds doing something like this. The Expo Activity Feed package comes with like buttons inputs, link previews, and even real-time update notifications. Literally everything you would need to build your own social network. As you can see, a stream is such a time saver. Doing what we just did by ourselves will take us a longer time. Thanks to stream, we were able to implement a real-time chat and activity feeds in a matter of minutes. And our chat came with features like private channels, public channels, message reactions with emojis, notification of typing, threads, incredible. Now the good news is that you can use a stream today. The free for makers account gives you free and full access to the chat API for up to 2000 users per month. And it gives you full and free access to the feeds API for up to 9 million feed updates per month. Click on the link below to sign up today. Thank you to Stream for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a full tutorial on Stream using the chat API to build our own Slack clone or if you would like me to use the feed API to build our own Twitter or Instagram. And that's it for this video. What do you think of Stream? Have you heard about Stream? Do you want to learn more about Stream? Have you used Stream? Let me know in the comments. I'm going to be looking at them right now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay happy, stay free. Eat kimchi. Kamsamida. Samangheyo. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.